Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about creating rolling credits with FFmpeg. So I've done a bunch of other videos on FFmpeg. I'll put a link in the description to my FFmpeg playlist. I'll also put a link in the description to the notes for this video so you can just copy and paste the FFmpeg command. So what I have here is a list of names. I used a random name generator to make 25 names. And then I created this FFmpeg uh, command here. And I'll go through each part of it. So using this command, we're going to make rolling credits, and it'll have a transparent background. So you can take those credits and put them into Final Cut Pro or Premiere or some other software. And there is one problem with this, and I'll explain that one as we go through it. So we run FFmpeg here. We have the LAVFI. This creates a just plain video with a white background that's transparent. So the color here is white. Transparency is 0.0. .0. So if this was 100, then it would just be a white background instead of transparent. I do like to have this color be the same as the font color we're using. So if your font was green, I like to use a green background. Um, even though it's transparent, sometimes you get some like halo effects. And then we have this S here is size, and that's 1280 by 720. So I have 720p is what I'm using right now. And then we have format is RGBA. So that's red, green, blue, and alpha. SS is the start time. T is the length of time, and this is 1 minute 30 seconds. And then VF is the video filter. We do draw text font file. So here you want to choose a font on your system. You can download fonts from the internet. You can use true type fonts. You can use different font formats. You know, just test them and see if they work with FFmpeg. We have the font size is 40. Font color is white. So here we have X. This is the horizontal position, and this roughly centers it on the screen. And then we have Y, and this changes, and this makes the text scroll up. So to change your feed rate, you want to change this 40. If you make it 80 or, um, say, 150, it'll make it faster. If you take this down to 10, it'll make it slower. We have line spacing is 60, and that's the spacing between each of the names. And then the text file is names.txt. And the codec we're using is ProRes because it supports um, transparency. And then the name of the video is called credits.move. So I will run this. This will take a minute to run, so I'll probably skip ahead, and then we'll take a look at it. Okay, so we're finished creating the file here, and it's called credits.move. If you see here, we have the credits coming up on the screen and the transparent background uh, you can see here. So let me open this up in QuickTime here. So the problem I'm having, and QuickTime put a black background behind it, but as we go through this scroll here, when it gets to the end, you can see this Ashley Tate leaves the screen right here. And we still have 13 seconds on it. So I set this to run for a minute 30. So FFmpeg, as far as I've my research goes, doesn't have a way to stop this when the credits roll off the screen. So it actually right about here. So you have this black at the very end. So you need to kind of guess how long it is, needs to be and then make it at least that long or longer. And then you can go back and cut that later. So let's take a look at this in Final Cut Pro now. Okay, so I have a project here, I'll open it up. And then I have this image, oops. I have this image, I'll drag that down to my timeline. I want to change this to 720p. and I'll import my credits. And we'll just take these, and I wanna go over here to type fit to none. You could do fit because they're both 720p. I need to adjust my display here to fit so we can see the whole thing, and I'll start play. And you can see here we have the credits coming by, and it's a transparent background. So the quality here doesn't look perfect. When I go to 100%, it'll look a little bit better. Let me get back on to the graphic or the photo. So there you go. So now you can see we have transparent background with the credits rolling over them. So you can play around with this a little bit just um, using FF Play. So I'll remove the codec here. I'll go at the very beginning and I'll just type FF Play. And this will just do a display it on the screen. So say we want that faster, I'll go back in here to this 40, and I'll change that to 240. And now it's running a lot faster. 
We can change the font size. Let's change the line spacing to say 80. We'll change the font size to 60. And so now here we have a larger font. We can change the color. And here's green. So if you had a list, uh, say for credits, you could maybe put them in here, but say you do Patreon and you get a list of all your patrons and you wanna show that at the end of the video, you could use this, a little script like this to create that video and then just paste it into Final Cut or Premiere uh, when you're ready to use it. So that's one reason you can use it. If you have any other ideas why you could use a scroll like this, put them in the description, I'm interested in hearing. So to address the, the fact that the video is longer than you need, you do need to estimate that out. You can use VidCutter to fix that. I did a video on VidCutter recently. Um, so if we open up VidCutter, we'll drag the video in here. And if I scroll, I need to start at the beginning and say start clip. And then I need to go to the end. So I want to go just as it gets off screen. Okay, right about there. I can hit end clip and then I can save that. And now we have the edited version. So you can see it stops after the last one. So using VidCutter, this was able to recreate this in ProRes without uh, re-encoding it. So we have the same quality here as the original. So that's kind of a nice tool to use too. So that's all for this video. So I don't know that this video is gonna meet everyone's needs exactly, but it's kind of a learning thing. You can kind of learn how FFmpeg works and maybe um, adapt what I taught you to do what you're trying to achieve in FFmpeg. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.